How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with another review. A little bit of Sleep Jams. In the form of their Super Soft. This is a, as they put it, an IPA with no boil hops. What does that mean? Basically, it means what a lot of IPAs nowadays have, which is basically most of their hops go after the boil, which is why you get that kind of hazy New England, kind of aromatic. Most of it is an aromatic thing, but you have that kind of rich kind of dry hopping, essentially is what they're talking about. Flame out, no boil hops. The weird part about it is it says with no boil hops, so there could still be hops before the boil. Regardless, we're going to drink it and see what's what. Here we go. Um, yeah, Sloop. Shelfy beer, um, at least relatively close to me. Not necessarily a bad thing. Shelfies are a good thing, especially if they're good beers. Hopefully this one is one of those. And uh, label-wise, I kind of like it. It reminds me of, like, Care Bears or some shit like that. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of, like, goofy. Maybe, like, a little bit of, like, Katamari Damacy kind of thing going on in there for those that fucking know the random weird Japanese game I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of goofy. You know, I'm surprised actually the TTB let this fucking get printed because it almost looks like a kind of a, a kid's kind of advertisement and they usually are pretty kind of crazy about that kind of stuff. So, yeah, oddly enough, what are you going to talk about? Anyway, let's talk about the beer. Uh, yeah, rich, hazy, nothing too crazy. It's got a nice yellow, uh, light yellow, white cataract -y thing kind of floating around in it. Nothing too crazy. She looks the part of a hazy, but she looks the part of a lower ABV hazy. Done, done. I mean, Sloop, that's kind of what they're known for, even though I've had other beers outside of the hazy realm that are quite nice. Let's get a nose. You know, for as much as a no boil hop goes, or hop beer goes, it's not, it doesn't have this gigantic nose to her. Exactly one month old um, to the day, but it doesn't have a gigantic nose to her. More of a soft green vegetal kind of tomato stockiness to it to the nose. A little bit of soft citrus, a little bit of soft peachiness, but it's really that kind of vegetal thing coming around. That's pretty much it. So you're talking about your no-boil hops. You're talking your dry hopping. You're talking about your kind of um, hopping after heat kind of thing. That's really a big aromatic thing. You're not really getting it in here, but it definitely can translate into the taste. A lot of people be like, oh, dry hopping is just, yeah, just an aromatic thing. It's not. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, it really does follow through in the taste. Get a little soft, nutty malt character. Really nice, soft mouthfeel. Not super creamy or fluffy or anything like that. You get some from the upper echelon, kind of uh, bigger uh, ABV kind of hazies, but it has a nice, soft mouthfeel to her. You do get that green. You do you get that little bit of kind of soft citrus peach thing kind of going around in there, but she's gentle. She's soft. She's a chugger. She's a drinker beer. Something meant to be drank. And I dig that. Um, perfect world. This would be a sub 5% beer. That's kind of how it drinks for me. Um, all the flavors that I want are there. But the impact is more of a lower ABV impact than a 6% beer. 6%, that's not a huge ABV um, to begin with. So I'm not going to sit here and really knock it for being like an overtly high kind of crazy ABV beer that drinks way smaller. But if you gave this to me at 4.5, 4.2%, I would be absolutely gaga for this. And I've had the this kind of impact, this kind of vibrance from a beer at that ABV. So it's not like I'm asking for something um, out of the ordinary. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's nice. And again, like I said, it kind of leans on that green, but it doesn't get overly bittering. That's your cold side hops at play. You're not going to get that big bittering component. So you're getting that green without the over bittering, even though there is a soft bittering to it. And you get that soft kind of citrus leaning a little bit into the kind of stone fruit. And that's pretty much it. And a nice, soft, sultry package and a relatively low ABV. And, I mean, this came in a 12-ounce can. It came in a 12-pack for around, like, 10 bucks all day. All day with that. So there you go. Uh, let's talk about it. It's one of the better, um, lower ABV hazies I've had as late. It's definitely worthy to be in the conversation. Um, it might seem like I came off a little bit negative about the beer, but I think it's quite tasty. It's probably one of the more softer and gentler and nice kind of soft um ipas i've had from soup uh, a lot of times i get a little bit of carbonic acid from the beers that these guys produces that's not here so you're getting that nice abv a really nice package with the uh, in that 12 a pack or six pack format i should say not 12 pack six pack format i'm all about it uh, value availability i just talked about it 
picked it up off the shelf and got a six pack at a cheap price so all day with that leave you with if you like what we like this beer if you like uh new england style hazies if you like the no bittering thing but you like a little bit of that green vibe going on in a relatively small package that you can actually pick up off the shelf there you go done and done Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little hazy right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>